hey buddies welcome back to another video thank you so much for the love and support that i have been getting from you guys it's truly amazing we just hit 100 subscribers thank you so much i think now we're on like 107 um subscribers thank you so much guys like it means a lot to me thank you for using your data thank you for just spending time to watch my videos i honestly appreciate it if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button and let's get to know each other join the buddies fam and if you're already a subscriber or just subscribe now thank you so much for stopping by i hope you will come back so again. today's video is a story time i saw you i'm sure you saw by the title um devastating moments that happened to me during my final year well actually towards the end of my final year i experienced something tragic it's not tragic i think it's a lesson it was a lesson and honestly it was a lesson learned and yeah so let's get straight into this video let me tell you why i didn't qualify i almost didn't qualify to be a ca i'm gonna be eating guys i'm gonna be eating apple and um uh yogurt so yeah let's get straight into this video. so it all started after my national exam which was on the um when was it it was on the 3rd 8th 8th of november yes 8th of november 2019 fine we had to wait for our results and fine right on the 15th of november 2019 guys i remember the dates yo properly because <laughs> it was the day where things got real so okay fine so 15th of november it was um a bcmp uh india function right and fine i already planned my outfit did my nails everything was just good everything was honestly fine so that day a list came out of pharmacology and um emergency medicine the sub list right when i got the email right um okay i checked and yo it's the sub list was my heart not pounding like like oh my gosh no lord you know but fine i open first it started i don't know i saw pharmacology and um emergency and was like oh my gosh i'm supping pharmacology i'm honestly supping pharmacology cool i f i first checked by the emergency um medicine uh, list right fine i check my name is there okay my student number is there actually and my i i go down to check if um i'm there also in pharmacology because it can happen and i'm not there and i was like oh my gosh like i am stopping emergency yo i remember that day i wanted to cry i really didn't know what to do it was just the worst thing ever firstly i'm going to the india function i'm going to sing everybody that's just receiving the call but in case yo guys i literally cried i remember i cried so bad i was like why emergency first of all also i don't like emergency i <laughs> i didn't even like calls like a casualty was really not my thing unless it's suturing you know then yeah i'm in it but i really didn't like emergency and i was like god where am i gonna start where am i gonna start with studying for emergency like everything was just so bad like everything was bad and i was like what am i gonna do but i was like you know what let me go and consult i went to seventh floor seventh floor is where all our um lecturers are right so fine i go there and i don't find anyone right it was rare like honestly it was rare that you find lectures there because <laughs> honestly they were never in seventh floor but in any case i go there no help fine i text this other lecturer um asking her i see that i am supping emergency what's wrong you know i don't understand and also my um semester mark was quite high okay for me <laughs> it was in the 60s so i was like ah you know what 40 percent and i'm good you know turns out no honey um so the lecture reply and she was like oh it seems like uh on your national exam you 
got below 40 right so um you need to sup supplement right and i was like oh my gosh um please help me like what should i focus on because i truly do because emergency is also a lot yo it's really a lot because it involves all our nine modules if i'm not mistaken so you're, you're like oh my gosh what is important and what is not fine she helped me out and i was like okay cool fine i went to the um india function honestly my heart was not fine like i was really not fine but i pretended to smile i was the mc i sang everything went well like honestly it was amazing the function was good you know and fine it ended and reality came so i had to study that day it was a friday i remember that day friday i had to study for monday because i was um writing the supplementary on monday fine study 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 ask also my other colleagues my friends actually um what should i study what did they study you know the ones that did, the ones that didn't supplement what did they study you know fine they told me and i studied monday morning yo during that day yo i prayed yo i prayed i was like god why is this happening to me like why am i stopping i studied my ass off on national exam i remember guys yo me and my friends we really studied hey like and i went through my edl i went through my um my notes i went through like the recommended books i really went through it and i was like you know what i'm ready and whatever happens happens but fine i wrote i went to write on monday honestly it was it was okay i would i wouldn't say that it was wow like i wrote like good you know because you never know with emergency you know so cool um i wrote and it was fine went back to rest and i prayed yo i prayed it was like god please please can i please pass this because if i fail this sub then obviously i need to repeat it next year you know i need to come back next year only for emergency like god no this must not happen to me fine i wrote i remember i went to my friend's race that after writing yeah i went there i think i wanted to give her something yes i wanted to give her something i went there while i was there to do an email again from seventh floor <sighs> guys i remember me and my friend we were shaking we're like i was like no manuku no i'm really not gonna look at this email i'm so scared i want to go to raise i just want to look at it when i'm alone and yo guys <laughs> you know while i'm saying all these things like i remember that feeling that i got and yo fine i went back to raise right and i checked my email right Th that email yo it was a women's health supplementary guess what i was in that supplementary again and it was the f it was only four student numbers i remember only four student numbers yo guys i just i just cried i i fell down and i just cried yo i was like god why why is this happening what is happening like i can't be falling into subs like what am i gonna do and also bear in mind all the things that i'm like emergency i don't like women's health i also don't like i know good see yes i'm also a woman you know but i really didn't like it because it was also a lot and some things were just complicated it was like i oh, know and also um the rotation when i was in the women's health rotation it wasn't really nice the only rotation that i um or the thing that i enjoyed from the rotation was the clinic and what else the delivery that was the only thing that i i think i enjoyed but the rest i didn't enjoy it 
fine guys yo i cried yo i cried i remember i cried i didn't want to tell my mom because it was just gonna stress her out i didn't want to tell my grand because it was also gonna stress her out the only person i told was umanuk and my boyfriend and i was like i'm supping again i don't understand what's happening i just came out from a sub and then i'm supping again cool fine uh, I was like you know what it's fine let me just study and i was like god you have placed me into this situation <laughs> for some reason please be with me help me please help me to go through this i cannot go through this alone because supplementaries are really not fun and it was it was like mostly our taste was like multiple choice and you know multiple choice it's a it's, it's either wrong or right there's no in between or what so cool i studied i studied um i studied that day actually when i found out after like two hours i was fine i did my notes i asked um help from my other colleagues and my friend actually i borrowed their books and I studied. while i'm studying i think it was like 10 o'clock yeah at night honestly so fine <laughs> another email comes in <laughs> i don't remember like like chronologically how it came through but i remember it was like 10 minutes interval fine another sub list come out i look i'm not there fine i was like okay i remember i was eating that day i couldn't eat i just left my plate there, my plate there and i was praying guys i was praying yo that day I was even shaking. I was shaking. I had palpitations. Yo, guys, yo, yo, it was the worst thing ever. Like, honestly, fine. Uh, email, okay, another email comes through and I was like, oh my gosh. I remember I was screaming in my room. I was like, no. Yo, it was honestly that bad. I was like, no, 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 God, please. I look at my student number like, trying to find my student number i'm not there again second time fine i'm like okay Whew. lord i think um there was like because we had nine did we have nine we had let me count we had women's health we had emergency we had child's health we had anesthesia we had orthopedics we had um what else uh what else did we have yeah i think that was that am i forgetting something oh we had chronic and infectious yeah chronic and infectious which was oh, so long fine i think now i received two right no three actually so i was left with seven right fine Woo! guys fine another email comes through oh i'm like god no I look through and my student number, I'm not there. Fine, I'm like, okay. Another one down. Whew. Fine, yo, guys, the palpitation that I was having there, I was shaking. Yo, all sorts of trauma I was experiencing, actually. I was like, cool. Mm. Another email comes in. Oh, <laughs> now I'm like, God. Uh -uh. I'm already writing a sub. I'm already writing a sub on Thursday. I cannot afford to study for a long, for a lot of modules. No, that's not what happened. Fine. After 10 minutes, another sub comes in. I'm like, oh, I look, I look. Literally, when you look, guys, like, honestly, when you look, you are literally shaking and like, fine, you know, they're like, oh, thank God, another one down. I think, okay, then it came in and fine i was only supplementing um women's health right cool yo now it have i had to study i was writing on thursday that's why i had two days to study the following day i was studying yo i was praying yo guys 12 o'clock it was me praying like no one's business yo reading the bible yo guys yo 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 god <laughs> fine um then on thursday came thursday i went to write cool when i was writing um it was fine it was honestly fine i could answer all the questions i don't want to lie i could answer all the questions i remember there was breast cancer it was a long question and i could answer it like honestly i could answer it 
and yeah i was like i got out of the um exam room and i was like god whatever happens now it is in your plan i hope i pass because when i fail here i'm honestly coming back next year only for women's health and maybe for emergency you know i really don't want to go through that so please 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 help me so fine now it was the waiting game i remember we got an email saying that um the results will be out on the 29th of um november like who's going to the old taking so when you go to the old taking that means ah man you pass you fine cool got uh i got to rest i slept i rested i prayed and me and my friend actually unati yo yo shout out to unati we were praying we were literally on our knees at 12 o'clock yo guys it was yo because honestly this was really important to us like getting this degree and just finishing was honestly the main point like and as a bcmp student you really don't want to um come back the following year you really don't want to be a repeater so i was like yo no this and also you must be in the same uh, you must be in the same class as your um, people your second years or first years you know it was like mm -mm, no this is not gonna happen so on the 29th of november right the sub list came out mm -mm, the old taking list came out mm, fine yo and it came out i think it was like half past four yeah but it was in the afternoon yo when it came out i prayed before yo i prayed god the list came out you know what's happening there please help me whatever happens may i be strong for this what's gonna happen may i honestly be strong for what's gonna happen yo guys it was the it was the ghetto i, I don't want to lie it was the ghetto it was the worst thing that could ever happen fine i looked through the list and it says congratulations to this um students y'all are coming to the um oath taking and um it means that you have passed fine i look guys i was shaking literally shaking palpitations everything shortness of breath every single thing i look i look i look i look i am not there yo yo guys honestly i am not there and i just put my phone down and i was like no no this cannot happen to me no honestly i can't this is the worst thing ever that can happen to me what went wrong did i fail i don't understand no no yo guys honestly i was literally crying i was like why i was so angry i remember that day i was so angry i was busy slapping things why is this happening to me yo I, yo guys <laughs> i'm so sorry to say yo but yo it was just not it was not nice fine i text again i text this other um guardian right of ours i text i'm like oh i actually told before the sub list came out i think it was the uh, uh, the previous day i asked her if she knows anything what's happening i'm really curious and i'm so scared you know because i can't go through failing and stuff like that. and she was like no ma just just rest just just calm down everything that happens will happen and if you pass you're gonna pass it's like you're gonna pass don't worry you're gonna pass you got this fine i texted her and i was like i didn't i uh, didn't make it to the o taking what's wrong can you please check for me i don't understand i'm really in distress like yo i told her fine i waited for a moment and she came back to me and she's like ah oh, no ma i think um you didn't pass your woman's health um you didn't make it you didn't pass the supplementary so that means i didn't get like 50 and above and so she was like no don't worry don't stress oh, shame she was so supporting she was like don't stress um there is a special exam because you only failed one module so there's a special um 
exam that's gonna happen um if you pass it then you'll still graduate with your colleagues and yeah so she was like everything dr low is gonna tell you what's gonna happen and stuff and i was like okay after reading that i was at ease but i was like what more will i study like honestly what more what will, what more will i study and what difference will it make like i worked my ass off like i yo i worked guys i don't wanna like i i gave it my all i studied i I've, i did everything actually and i was like okay fine i'm just gonna hear from dr low and yeah cool they answered me and they sent me an email saying that um there's gonna be a special exam next week that's gonna happen and i must be ready and um yeah so if i pass there i'm gonna graduate with the thing and the o taking is gonna be done but i'm gonna do it alone or with the other people who are also writing the special exam so i was like okay cool fine um oh they also said um if i want help i must go to seventh floor and ask them you know fine i went to um my other lecturer right and i asked her if she could please like honestly guys I, the thing is i didn't write i didn't want to write a special exam honestly and also my my semester marks was around also around like 65 so i was like honestly guys 65 I, I just need like 35 to pass like what is wrong and i i was like can you please is there no marks that you guys can look for because i did all my assignments i supplement I, I submitted on time like everything was just proper you know and um i i asked her then she was like no unfortunately we can't this is how it works so in your national exam you need to get like 40 percent and above regardless of you got 15 above for your um semester mark the semester mark but the thing is you need to pass right you need to your semester mark needs to be above 50 right so but the most important thing you need to pass your national exam so she was like no there's nothing i was like even my oski guys nothing she was like no i'm so sorry you need to write it Yo, guys, I was so down. I remember I was so done. I went back to raise and I was like, wow. So this means that I'm not going to the O-taking. And I was like, I was so devastated. Um. Oh, but before I left, she, she, she told me that she's going to look through my paper. She's going to mark his. And she's also going to try to find some marks. Yeah, some marks. She doesn't know. She, she's not promising anything, but she's going to look i waited guys when i got to his i prayed i was like god please can they find marks can they just do something like honestly i don't want to rise i'm not gonna survive i'm not gonna be able to pass like i didn't trust myself like the hope was honestly on zero percent while it was on zero percent i was like okay i remember all taking was on the third of um december on the second i had packed my bags right from it because like everyone was gone not everyone but we had to like evacuate right because we're closing fine um i packed everything was packed but i had this hope guys honestly i had hope that on the third even on the third or on the second like late even at mid midnight they will tell me that oh we find marks so you don't have to supplement anymore you're fine you know you're good i had that hope i honestly had that hope but it didn't happen third of december came oh now i had to tell my mom right i think i told my mom after no my mom knew actually on the third of the, the time I, I i wrote my woman's health supplementary she she um i told her and i also told my gran and fine even after when i found out that i was not i was not going to the oath taking i told them and when i told them and they were like don't worry at least you have another chance you know your shame they were so supportive because there was this time where i called my grand and i literally cried and i was like why is this happening like a, a grand i don't understand like i've given it all my all and it, it's really not happening why is god doing this to me and i honestly wanted my grand and my mom um to come to my own taking you know it, it would be like 
the best thing ever you know just to make them proud and my gran was like you know what everything happens for a reason she encouraged me she was like it's gonna be okay it's fine you're gonna pass just keep on just press on it's gonna happen fine the third of december um i had to go out of rest right so i called my mom they fetched me and i remember when she came i she literally hugged me and told me that things are gonna be fine i must not worry so God is they came to fetch me right and um oh that day yo guys the worst thing ever on that day um people were posting on their statuses right my heart was so sore like they were posting on their statuses and um saying that they did it you know like today's the day and i remember me and my friends we planned that oh taking we're gonna go all out we're gonna be beautiful we're just gonna have fun and all my friends actually all my friends went to oat taking i was the only one who didn't make it to the to oat taking yo and but they were so supportive like honestly when i found out these news um when i told them actually there was like they were like no no it's gonna it's going to be fine um just shout if you need any help and 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 you know they were so supportive and fine they went to all taking and that day i was like you know what i'm staying off whatsapp i'm not gonna view anyone's statuses i'm really not gonna go to whatsapp i really didn't go so yeah i got home and um yeah it was just okay when i got home i prepared to study i um continued like studying used my notes and everything and the following day i got a call actually from um this other lecturer she was like um please come in on friday um so that i can just teach you you know women's health all the things that you have um you are struggling with i went through your paper so i know what you're struggling with so please come to seventh floor right and everything was fine i was like cool i'm gonna come and i was writing she said i must come on friday and that monday i was writing so fine the problem is now i had no place to sleep i have no family in um pretoria and res was closed and i was like in the pits like honestly i was in the pit fine so i went to sleep with her right so on friday i went to see um this other lecturer she went through everything with me she helped me and yeah like honestly she helped me a lot i remember she helped me a lot because we went through every single detail that you can think of honestly went through every single detail and um saturday i continued to study sunday i continued to study while continuing to study and everything i was praying hard guys i've never prayed like that you know those days that month i yo you know prayer yo i i, I literally prayed i was on my knees reading a scripture i remember I also lit a candle I was like no honestly mm -mm, this is not gonna happen to me but during also that process i told myself that i'm really gonna pass i was like no my you know what i i mot i motivated myself also it was hard but i had to because i had no choice and this was really important to me i had to motivate myself so i did and monday came right so monday i had to ride so i went there and there was oh then that's where i saw like all the people that were writing the special exam i think we were like five there was like five of us and when i got there there was no one and i was like oh my gosh am i late or what but um and it was raining yo it was pouring like heavily pouring but i was like okay fine i waited i waited and i was there early so yeah even though i thought i was late <laughs> i don't know but yeah they came and when they came um i was like guys can we pray honestly can we pray and we held hands and we literally honestly prayed right and when we were praying uh, i was like guys you know what whatever happens from here it's gonna happen but we will pass man we will make it honestly we will make it and cool um we wrote and it was good i don't wanna lie it was great the paper was amazing i was like you know what yeah no matter what happens no god yeah i passed but on on the other note i didn't want to jinx it so whenever when my mom asked me i was like oh my it was okay you know you never know what might happen but it was fine i wrote well fine 
I went back to a home, like home was in like Joburg, my mom's place. So I went there and when I went there, I rested and uh, my stepdad was like, it's gonna be fine, don't cry, ne? don't cry, it's gonna be fine, um, just enjoy now, just enjoy. Yo, then I think, oh, they sent us an email that day that we must not go home, like, because others were in, lived in Eastern Cape, another one lived in Pumalanga, you know, so they told us not to go in case we passed and we need to attend the oath taking, right? Because the oath taking was going to be like, when on a Friday, yeah, it was going to be on a Friday because we wrote on Monday, so the oath taking was going to be on, on a Friday. Fine. That Monday, guys, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I opened my favorite scripture, was, um, which is in um, 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 16. It says that we must be thankful throughout all seasons. We must be thankful because whatever we're going through, it is according to God's plan. And also I read a, I read a, scripture, a scripture in Proverbs. Um, I'm not sure exactly which chapter, but it said um, that everything happens according to God's will. And I was like, there was a po that day, that week, actually, there was a point where I was like, God, you know what? It's fine. I accept everything that you are going to do, right? If I have to um, come back next year, I'll come back. It's fine. But please help me. This I kept on emphasizing each and every day, telling God that, God, when you put me through stuff, please go through it with me because I really cannot go through it alone. And fine, uh, Tuesday I was really praying. Also, Wednesday I was praying. Thursday I was praying. And on Friday, right? Friday came and I really had really, for not really forgotten, but it was like at the back of my mind, you know? All I wanted to do now was to December. Like, I wanted to be in December mode already. And fine, I found out, uh, we got an email, right? We got an email when I opened my daughter room there's that email i'm like oh my gosh oh god okay 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 and it was like um hey no ma'am we're trying to reach you but we can't we tried calling you but we couldn't reach you um congratulations you had you have made it and you've passed so you are invited to the o taking on friday no yeah on friday so i got the message actually on thursday yes on thursday so tomorrow yo Guys, literally, I put my phone down and I prayed. Guys, I prayed. I was like, thank you, God. Thank you so much. I remember, like, I have made it. It didn't click. Yo, guys, it didn't click. I was like, you know what? I mean, I'm going to believe when, I'm, when I already received that certificate. Like, honestly. So, on the following day, I told, oh, I told my grand, I told my mom, I told everyone, they were so happy for me. Oh, they were so happy. And everything was just fine, hey? Like, everything was fine. I was at ease. Yo, I remember, but the thing, I was so, I lost the weight. During that time, yo, I, yo, I lost the weight. I think it was like 13 to 14. I was like 13 to 14. And, yeah, that was the day, guys. Um went to all taking it was good it was great and they congratulated us even like the five of us all passed and even though we were small um but it was really a nice day just you know signing off that thingy just saying that you know what i am done and i pledge to take care of my patients and and just be fine like oh guys it was the greatest day of my life so yeah guys that is it um thank you so much um to my friends manuku amria um, Drimalo, unati yo unati like i saw what a prayer warrior you are like honestly and queen thank you so much for um motivating me like yo she was the one who's telling me i am proud of you like um motivating me she's like no don't worry you're gonna pass you like she was there like honestly she was really there thank you so much to my mom to my um grandma my whole entire family thank you so much to my boyfriend you guys really helped me through this devastating time it was it was really not nice but i had to go through it you know when god said you when god said something for you you need to go through it and also it says also 
for the scripture to be fulfilled and also what i learned from what i um went through is that i i had to trust god like my faith increased a lot it really increased a lot and i have learned i've learned to pray i've learned to accept oh guys i've learned to accept that everything happens according to god's plan if it doesn't ha happen then it was never meant for you and uh, my prayer every day is that god may my plans be aligned with your plans because your plans is truly amazing even jeremiah 29 verse Levin says that um, I have good plans for you, plans to prosper you, plans um, to give you peace you know for you to have a bright future so believe that honestly whatever you're going through right now it's gone um it's gonna pass nothing stays like sadness doesn't stay forever you know so yeah um that is my um devastating moment um during my last days actually of my final year um god took me out out of a very dark pit but um i had to go through it i understand now and yeah guys um also an advice to third years oh my gosh third years bcmp third years make sure make sure make sure make sure that you pass your uh, national exam aim for 60 and above like actually aim for 60 and above go through your ed edl know your edl inside and out like the latest edl actually know it and um yeah the emergency i wish i i, I hope that i oh my gosh i wish that i had my um books here but know your um emergency like your emergency that book i think it's it's it, it's written emergencies 101 emergencies something but yeah that book is literally a lifesaver and also what else make sure that you submit everything on time have a good record because actually i feel like i feel like the lectures when you have like a good record and when you submit on time when you respect they're really gonna help you like honestly they they help me like they honestly help me so yeah make sure that you pause everything because you don't want to go back <laughs> you honestly don't want to repeat so yeah guys thank you buddies for watching this video i hope you guys will enjoy it and i hope that you guys got something that nothing stays forever and everything happens for a reason god will not put you in a situation where he will never take you out of it honestly he will sustain you he will give you everything that you need he gave me everything that i needed i am a living testimony that he is actually a provider and that whatever you trust in god for it will happen it will happen i promise you guys thank you so much till next time don't forget to comment to subscribe and also to like this video and thank you for the constant love and support i love you guys so so much and bye buddies